Mary Jo Ola is live in West Dallas with important information about the cold and your car. Yeah, if you haven't done a great job maintaining your car, you might have some issues this week, but there are a few things that you can do that may help. That's coming up next. Tonight, we talk with a 14 year old whose startling discovery has Apple urgently rushing to fix a popular feature on its Macs and iPhones. Plus, we hear from the billionaire Houston couple on how they're taking on high drug prices. And we see you back here tonight. We are keeping a close watch on the temperatures as the record setting cold is now taking hold across southeast Wisconsin. Right now in Port Washington, we're below zero, one below. A wind chill warning kicks in at six. Brian Goddard Storm Team forecast is just a few moments away. And keeping Chicago's busy metro rail system no easy task in this weather. Check this out. They're actually setting fires to warm parts of the tracks to keep the metal from contracting and making sure everything runs. All right, when it gets this cold, it can do damage to your car. Mary Jo Ola live in West Dallas with information on what you can do to keep it running. Mary Jo. Hey guys, so I'm learning if you have not done a good job maintaining your car, you may see some problems this week, but there are some things that you can do to help. Now joining me now is Mike Maloney. We are at Westway Auto Body and West Alice. So Mike, thanks so much for being with us. Not a problem. Now for those folks who haven't done a good job keeping up with their car, what kind of issues are they gonna see and then what can they do? Most problems will be bad batteries. You know, batteries don't last forever. And uh, so you have battery problems, uh, keeping your fluids up there, keeping your windshield washer fluid up, making sure your, your wipers are clean. You don't wanna go out there in this nasty weather. And you get out early, plan your day, get out and start that car up before you start moving it. Because I mean, you don't jump out of bed and go running outside in the snow, do you? No, no. And uh, yeah. your car doesn't want to do it either. Yeah. So you get out there, warm the car up before you venture out in this cold weather. And mm -hmm. why, you know, and if you're going to go out in this weather, make sure you got a blanket or an extra yeah. jacket or gloves or a shovel or whatever. So, mm -hmm. and if your car does break down, don't get out of it stay in the car. Mm -hmm. Everybody today has got a cell phone. Yeah. Get a hold of somebody because you go outside, you know, you can get run well, over. You know, you can end up dead. Yeah. Now, uh, and real quickly before we go, I know what was interesting that you mentioned before we started the interview was kind of uh, whether you kept up with your car or not. There are some things you can do like choosing where you park that can make a difference. Talk to me about that. Oh yeah. I mean, if you're, you don't want to park your car out in the middle of a parking lot, you know, if you move it up against a, a wall, a garage, get it out of the wind, you know, if you get home early at four o'clock, then go outside at 11 and start that car up again so that, you know, it's not sitting there all night freezing to death. All right. Good, ad good advice. Mike, thanks so much for being with us. No problem. All right. We're live in West Dallas. Mary Joola, today's TMJ4.